up with this guy. Talk to him. Trey Songs. Y'all help me put your hands together for Trey. Woo! Don't clap. I ain't supposed to clap. No, no yes, you are. Oh. <laughs> that singular clap is me, ladies that, and gentlemen. That's okay. Clap for yourself. Oh, man. You was at that show last night. Man. Last night, excuse me. Look, okay, let me ask you this. First thing first. Let me tell you okay, this. Tell me. Man. The ladies. women Look. absolutely. <laughs> They Woo! freaking like go crazy. Well, I was talking about how good they was looking. Oh, they was they looking good to you? What was your what was your well oh let me say this. Women I call, see. they they cry, they they sing Trey songs, Trey songs, Trey songs. But what makes a chick hot to you? What makes her hot? Confidence. I think confidence is one of the sexy things the sexiest thing a woman can wear. So that's one of the things that you look yeah, for first. Definitely. I mean when a woman when she got her own and she whether it, it ain't even right about a financial situation when I say she got her own, she got her own mindset, she mm -hmm. got her own uh her own her own everything about her, her aura brings light. You know what I mean? That's like, what's and, attractive to you. And and telling women out there like you don't have to bear all to be sexy right. either. You right. know what I mean? You could be sexy while still being classy. That's one of the things I love. My dad used to always say, Leave something to the imagination. You don't have to show skin all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A beautiful face is something that you can't deny either every time. That's right. That's true. I so agree. So, when um, you, as far as when you look at a female, and females are around you all the time, and I heard an interview, and I love the fact that you said that, like, your role models are, like, the women that you grew up around. Yeah. Your mom. The women that raised me. Okay. Yeah, they, they are the inspiration that I had before I even knew I was going to do music. Uh, before I, I looked to anybody to inspire me, I already had inspiration around me. Uh, they raised me, they, they sacrificed a lot to, to a lot of their dreams, you know what I mean? My mother, mm -hmm. my grandmother, all down to my aunties, uh, they all sacrificed so much to, okay. to, to make sure that we live good lives. And I'm speaking about myself, my cousins, right. my brothers. Well, let me ask you this. Since your music, and you know everybody has their opinion, but something right. like, I read in a blog where they say Trey Song's music is like over sex, but everybody has their own opinion. Cause Definitely. What your mama and your grandmama then be saying? I mean, that's like saying Rick Ross music over doped. I guess so. You know but <laughs> like, do they come to your performances? Because, like, the girls, they, they, do. they was they kissing do. your chest. My grandma and you was actually in D.C. <laughs> what did she show. say? My mama was in Greensboro. You know, I think they, they have the ability to separate Trey Songs from Tremaine Nevison. Mm -hmm. And furthermore, they, they know that I'm not a child anymore. I, I am a man. And, you know, uh, they embrace that. You know what I mean? This is... Uh, and, and certain things they don't watch. They turn. They know when to turn away. They know what's for them. They know what ain't for them. Is it funny sometimes if your mom is in the studio and you're doing a track? Or my mom was actually there when I did uh, Neighbors Know My Name. Okay. When I recorded, when I was writing the song. And I did Panties Dropper in the same day. And she, I was like, Panties Dropper, this is going to be a smash. I love it. I love it. She was like, no, Neighbors is the one. Neighbors is And she was right. So are, you, <laughs> are they uh, overprotective about the women that you date? Like, do they try to, are they picky because, I mean, I don't, one, bring, I don't bring women around them unless it's, it's already at a point where I know I could trust the woman. I know that it's somebody that I'm going to be spending a lot of time with. Uh, and, you know, my mother, my grandmother, women in my life, they let me live my life for the most part. Love it. So you got the new album, Chapter 5. Yeah, um, and I, you soon. were been in the studio with uh, T.I. Yeah. What's uh, me and Tip was in the studio the night before last. Uh, and that thing's about 6 o'clock. <laughs> really? Tip? Yeah, I got one on his album. He got one on mine. It's, it's, we got amazing work. So when when was it that you realized, okay, I have made it? Like, I, like people really don't. I'm a star like. I, gotta, uh, I can't just walk in Walmart no more. When did I realize? I think... Uh, when I when Jay Z asked me to go on tour, mm -hmm. and uh, moments after that, like I think that was a very pivotal place in my career. Right. I think that was like the launch pad for so many other things. Right, uh, right. Performing with Stevie Wonder on the BET Honors was uh, definitely a moment where I was like, "Is this real?" Mm -hmm. You know, I mm -hmm. feel like I'm watching myself. Uh, you know, and and even still, I have the moments where as though I, I feel more regular than ever. That's awesome. Yeah. So when you first got that first irregular check that said, "Damn, I got some money," <laughs> what was the first major purchase that you that you bought when you like, okay, I got money now? Oh, I, I got plenty of money. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, the first major check I ever got though, I bought my mama house. Really? Yeah. The first piece of real money I saw. Okay. And ever since then, you know, I got a couple cars. I got some watches. Oh. Oh no! Look, keep on this. Keep on going. Some watches and some uh, some watches, some shoes. You know, some watches, some shows, you know some, yeah, went on a couple you know, vacations. Couple houses, vacations. <laughs> you know, things like that. <laughs> All right. So talking to Trey Songs, um, the girl you took to the Cavaliers game, just a friend. Possible. Well, she was actually a contest winner. 
Oh, really? Yeah, she wrote into the station in uh, Cleveland. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a contest they ran for the first uh, for the first show, actually, mm -hmm. of this tour. And she had been engaged five years. And uh, I mean, she was with a man five years, and she was engaged for like six months. Mm -hmm. And uh, then he up and left. And she uh, she wasn't even a big fan of mine's until after that she found a song of mine that actually, coincidentally, was never on the album. It was a mixtape song. Uh, entitled I don't love you anymore and it, she said it, it, it helped her get through that mm -hmm. they had to write letters in to, to love ask, it yeah so. so did her neighbors hear your name no 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 okay but we was in the hotel no I'm just <laughs> 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 no she was cool we had a fun night man so what do you think is the biggest misconception about you because you listen you've really evolved the, the hairstyle it's like you the, the young women love you the grown women love you I mean what do you think is the biggest thing the misconception or something that people don't know about I mean you. I think misconceptions can be vast when you when you're dealing with an artist because it's it's uh it's uh the fact that you really don't know this person although you think you do right because all you know about the person is the information you're given uh, and I don't know what the biggest misconception is about myself I just try to do me okay um, there's this thing that we talk about um, on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, the women do anyway, and it's to decide kind of like if dudes got that hammer, and obviously you... Sledge. You, you got that. You got that. What? <laughs> you got that sledge. So, and it, sometimes it depends on just your opinion of things, and sometimes it depends on snacks. So just tell me what you like. Uh, vodka and cranberry, or you drink yak? Yeah. Okay. Me. Um, late night or early morning? What you prefer? Late night to the early morning. Oh my goodness. Doritos or Fritos? Doritos or Fritos? Dorito. You gonna have to go with the Doritos? Yeah. yeah. Dorito. Hot. Mm. Them spicy ranch yeah, ones good. Spicy. Very good, man. Barbecue chips crunch and munch. Mmm. Mmm. I probably more frequently hit mm -hmm. the barbecue chips up. <laughs> right. But them crunching munch do the job, though. 